Come on, good boy. We'll have the foodstuffs aboard by noon, Brandon. Then I'll be able to pull anchor out of Vancouver before sundown. That's right, Captain. Them Chinese sailormen of mine are better out of sight of land. Have a couple of boxes of those stogies. You can take ashore. Find smokes. ああ、ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
Just a minute. <laughs> this is one time you won't get away before I speak to you. No, no. We mustn't be seen talking. If we were caught, it would mean the end of everything for both of us. But why? I don't understand. You're a white girl. What are you doing on a plate like this? Now look here, I've been in here from time to time just trying to get a chance to talk to you, and you've always avoided me. I got to speak to her today. Oh, that's a blessing. What is she, a blonde or a brunette? Yes, and she's got beautiful eyes. Oh, my dear fellow, you're not well. Now, come no, on. No, but this is serious, Don. I'm telling you about it. Now, here, take your story. Right hand. Sit down there and tell me the story. Well, in the first place, Don, she's the most gorgeous girl you ever looked at. Yes, I've heard that before. You know, I met her in a curio shop. Mm -hmm. And today, while I was talking to her, she said the most peculiar thing. She said that if we were seen talking together, that something terrible would happen to both of us. Oh? And not only that, but all the while, she seemed to be gazing past me, looking at some, uh, something behind me. So I turned to see, and when I turned back, she was gone, disappeared. Mm. And not only that, I leaned over the counter to see if she was hiding, and as I did that, zoom, a knife right by my face. I do. Now, you're a great detective. What do you make of it? Bob, take my advice. I know these Orientals. But this girl's white. Well, that doesn't matter. She's evidently mixed up with them. You're playing with fire. My advice is, Keep out of this. <laughs> well, I don't care what you say, Dawn. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm in love with this girl. All right, but whatever you do, keep... I thought perhaps you might know something about this disc. Of course, I run across all kinds of signs and symbols in my business. But this, uh, something entirely new to me. Any idea what it might mean? Sorry I can't help you, Dovis Gordon. Well, thanks anyhow. Goodbye. Bye. every way of a man on the day and night. Good heavens, man, Dover Scott can't have been swallowed up. You've got to find some trace of him. Right. Report back to me at once. You see, Doctor? Dover Scott, one of our best operatives, disappears. You know, the man on the Doctor Send murder case. Disappears as if the earth had swallowed him. I don't like the looks of it. I'm afraid you're up against something more than an ordinary murder. Oh, I'm sure of that. You know, this thing is so big, we haven't an inkling of it. We're, we're fighting in the dark. You know, what is it, Hartley? Gentlemen to see you, sir. Oh, I can't see anybody tonight. Tell him I'm engaged, and I don't want to be disturbed this evening. Uh, but, sir... Oh, what is it now, Hartley? Gentlemen, sir, you said to mention Dr. Lembiet Sims, sir. Why in heaven's name didn't you say so before? Show him it at once. Very good, sir. Do you see, Doctor? It's positively weird. If that cholera drops straight out of the clouds, I shouldn't be in the least surprised. <laughs> well, Parkinson, at least it's done something for your imagination. Come in, sir. I'm Herbert Brandon. You mentioned something about Dr. Lambiette Sen. Oh, this is Dr. Franklin. You can speak free before the doctor. I bring in something on the ships that I supply food with. Now, the ones with the Chinese sailors on. What do you mean by something? Drugs. 
Well, of all the confounded nerve. I'll put you in jail for this. Just a moment, Parkinson. Gentlemen may have something more to say. <laughs> He'd better have. Go ahead, man. Have your say. Oh, I'm cured. I swear it. It's gotten too big for me. I can't handle it. Get to the point, Brandon. They've come to me to bring in $100,000 worth of it. They? What do you mean by they? I don't know who exactly, but I want you to grab them. My wife and I get out. First with my conscience, and then with my wife. She made me come to it. There you are. What did I tell you? What's exactly on your mind, Brandon? Well, I thought I'd be there and go through with it. You know, smuggle the stuff in. Then you could be there with your men to grab them. It's set for tomorrow night. Sit down. I'll call Captain Bowen, the harbor police. Give me Captain Bowen, in charge of the harbor police. Do sit down, Parkinson. You make me nervous. He'll be here on time. Isn't it bad enough for me to have to humble myself to ask that colossal egotist for help? Without having him keep me waiting? Well, I'm quite sure that Dawn is always on time for his appointment. He said eight o'clock. It's now one minute to eight. And where is he? Don't be so impatient. He's well worth waiting for. As a matter of fact, he's the only man who can help you. Bah! Is it? How did you get here? I have waited long, Sai. You have more important patients than I. With your permission, I will take my ailment to the good doctor Len Yet Sen. But Dr. Sen is dead. Then perhaps it is you who will visit the honorable doctor, Mr. Commissioner. At your service, Doctor. Don? <laughs> ah, all the idiotic nonsense. <laughs> well, you gentlemen won't need me for a moment. I'll go and see what other patients I may have. Uh, so you simply must be melodramatic, eh, Don? No, Commissioner. You see, I'll go to any lengths to disclaim your acquaintance. Look. You're being watched. Ah. You want me, of course, to solve the Dr. Len case. The papers are full of it. Taking it out on you, eh, Commissioner? It's gone beyond just the solution of Dr. Len's death. Oh? There are other murders? Yes, yeah, I see then. What is it? Dr. Lem had one like it gripped in his hand. Dover's caught, one of our best operative disappears, and one comes in the mail for him. Branham vanishes. And again, this thing turns up. Hmm. It seems they didn't bow down to the magic isle, Leo Tsi. The ancient seer, the father of a strange devil worship. He lived on the side of a mountain where they came to worship. The eye of Leo Tsi. It seems they didn't bow down to the magic isle. A magic eye. Eye. And fried ducks. That's it. Fried duck. Oh. 
I remembered something. There's a virtue. Cultivated, Commissioner. A good memory. When I have news for you, I'll telephone you. Good night. And remember, you're being watched. ตักสังยุคกรรมสกุลตัวสุภาษิตเสียงว่ากินเด็กตามมาไม่ตอกันนะมึงก็ไม่ตอกันนะมึงก็ไม่ตอกันนะมึงก็ไม่ตอกันน
Uh, Commissioner, Doctor, this way, quickly. Come on, you fellas. I wouldn't have believed it, Commissioner, if I hadn't seen it. It's solid. How is he, Doctor? We must get him to a hospital. Remarkable vitality. I... Oh, but this is impossible. Everyone's cleared out. Things like this can't happen. Ah, you do not know the Oriental mind. It is steep in the wisdom of the ages. Things do happen. We have seen. Oh, Don. This is Chantal Lin, a special operative. He can help us. Chantal Lin is right, Commissioner. The human mind is queer. It makes happenings like this possible. Oh, but it's too fantastic. Oh. The answer will be simple when we find it. A great screen of mysticism to cover up some ghastly traffic in human souls. I hardly like to think of it. We have a sinister, evil mind to combat. Almost like black magic. Tonight, I saw an image come to life. And then, people vanishing through solid walls. Look. Undisturbed. you see that the front door of the temple of Chuang Su is opened each night at dark. Keep a patrolman on duty nearby, but he must be blind to all people who enter the doorway. He must see and hear nothing unless he gets a direct appeal for help. Do you have a clue? I can tell you nothing, except that soon we shall lift the hood from the mysterious head of the black robe. See, I feel all right now, nurse, and I think I better get out of here. Oh, but I can't let you go without the doctor's permission. Well, I'm sure it's all right with him. Oh, are you leaving us, Mr. Rand? Oh, why, yes, doctor. You see, I'm getting tired of being cooped up in there. I see. Well, if you'll just come to the office with me, I'll take you off there. Uh, thank you very much, nurse. Roger, nurse. Tonight, you will win the favor of Lao Tzu. You will do as you were commanded. Yes. I'll do as I was commanded. Zenobia! Zenobia! I've come to take you away from here. No. I cannot go. 
I'm chained here forever. You ought to know that. Why? You don't know what you're talking about. I'm not a woman. My soul is gone. That's why I can't go with you. Oh, but that's not true. Well, you're asleep now, Zenobia. You're sick, you're hurt. You don't know yourself. All life lies ahead of us. You must come. No. I am the eye of Laozi. I am his servant. I cannot get away from him. I would only bring you misery and death. A black death. Very well. If you won't come with me, I will go with you. No, no, you must not. Oh. Ridiculous, I tell you. How do you feel? Do you mind telling me where I am and how I got here? Not at all. You know who you are, of course. Do I know who I am? Well, that's ridiculous. I'm Herbert Brandon. Yeah. Let me see. I was walking down Pender Alley toward the wall. Suddenly everything went black. I don't remember anything until I woke up in here. Say, who are you? That doesn't matter for the moment. What does matter is that for some time you'll be living in an entirely different world. For some time? How long? About ten days. Ten days? My wife, what about her? I got in touch with her. She's quite reassured. And very happy at the prospect of your return. Well, I must go to her. No, house. no, just a minute. There's one thing you must hear. It's not a very pleasant story. You feel equal to it? Well, yes, of course. But say, who are you? A criminal investigator employed by the police to solve a very tangled problem. Your disappearance was part of it. My disappearance? Yes, that's part of the story. Perhaps you'd like to address while I explain. I had some of your clothes brought here. No. Go ahead. Well, you remember the night you were to play into the hands of the police on board a boat smuggling narcotics? Well, that evening, you dropped out of sight completely. Unfortunately, I knew the antidote to the little-known drug that was given you deliberately to affect your brain. You awoke this morning almost completely recovered from its effects. How can I ever thank you? By telling us all you know. 
Your experiences of the past ten days may lead us directly to the man we want. I can't remember a single thing from the time things went black in Pender Alley. It's all a blank. I can't remember the temple, the black robe, or the mountains. And I never heard of Laot C. Too bad. Too bad. But before you return home, I want you to go with me and revisit the scenes of your wanderings. I've arranged it for this afternoon at two. Anything familiar about this place? Never saw it before. All right, let's go further. They close every door on our face. The girl and Rand went through a space which is now a solid wall. We've lost every touch with the hidden world. Behind that wall, there must be a passageway. We'll tear this temple apart stone by stone. We'll find out that trick. You may find a hidden world, but you'll find it empty. Don, you remember Shan, a special operative? Yes. He may be able to help us. Well, let's go to his curio shop. Come on. By one, our avenues are being closed. I'd like to get my hands on whoever's responsible. Of course, of course. Our search would be over. Does this place bring anything to your mind, Brandon? No. It means nothing to me. Dr. Franklin? Only one thing remains. There's nothing left except the sealed portion of Brandon's brain. What can science offer? What do you want science to do? Read the hidden section of Brandon's brain. You think that can be done? I fancy occultism would have no difficulty with the subject. Brandon was using his subjective brain during his disappearance. Now he's using his objective. You know perfectly well that while ordinary human beings find it impossible to link the two, the advanced occultists can do it. Stop it, Don. It's dangerous even to think of these things. I insist upon being left out. If such a thing were possible, I'd gladly offer myself. It's the least I can do. No, it's too dangerous. Might even be fatal. Dash it all, Franklin. Can you do this? Or is Dawn a fool? Neither. I can't do it, nor is Dawn a fool. I can't read the mind of a child, let alone a man. The cause is worthy, Doctor. Really, it's for humanity. To uncover a fiend. Oh, drugs and murders and heaven knows what. Give me a chance to do something. I prefer it that way. Very well. I will take you to an adept. The Yogi of Madrada. I want it tonight. but the students. The yogi doesn't mingle with mankind, not even with the students. Gentlemen, the yogi of Madrada is but a poor, humble man who pays tribute to his maker. Pray be seated. The floor is the only cushion I can offer, and it is enough for these unworthy bodies of ours. You have come to me in a worthy cause. Except for that, 
These doors will never have opened before you. You seek to save life, to bring an end to those who would ravish mankind. his body from all impurity. The control is coming. That is the cosmic stream by which he is going to read Brandon's subjective brain. Dawn, you must do the questioning. Where are you now, Brandon? Brandon! Where are you now? Something wrong. Oh, I see his other name. Where are you now, Raja Bear? I am on a boat. My head hurts. A captain. Why is he calling me Rajaner? What was the captain's name? I don't know. He's a big man. No. I'm not a Hindu. Well, if you say I am, I am. But don't give me any more of that strange water. It's parching my throat. It's hurting my brain. Where did they take you? They took me to sea. One night I saw land. High, rising land. With mountains. In the morning, I was on the land. The ship had gone. Where were you then? False ears. False ears? Roger, what is the name of the man in the black robe? you were sent back to the city from wherever they hid you. Your mission was to kill me. Dr. Franklin, take him to the car. We'll follow directly. We're on the trail, Commissioner. Hot on the trail. Now, you see, down the coast here, and in this cove, we find false ears. False ears? What do you mean, false ears? As you see, it's a mountain on the west coast of Vancouver Island. It's a lonely, godforsaken spot used by the Indians as a hunting ground. I haven't the least doubt that that's the place we're looking for. Well, we'll route them out this time, Don. Mm, it'll need more subtlety than that, I'm afraid. They have guards. They disappear long before ever you got near the mountain. No. My idea is this. We pack across Vancouver Island and approach false ears from the rear. 
there, I'll contact Rand. We've got to save that lad. And the girl, too. Now, you get McCarthy, having get 12 good men, and have them leave Vancouver in disguise to avert suspicion. among us, seeking the reward to faithful souls. It is yours when you have earned it. You understand the way there too? Yes, I know the way. You will follow the way? Yes, voice of Laotse, I will follow it. When you have returned, the reward is yours. I have spoken. No zika today. Come and go, you son, have you fun in the go, my yo. Go and come in soon, King. Don't think you're going to sing him. No, too, for Let's get away from here tonight, otherwise it'll be too late. Do you feel equal to it? I'm ready. I'm awake now. You've broken the spell. I love you. You must know that. But how can we go? The boat. There are very few that crew aboard, and it's our only chance. But if you should fail, you know what will happen. Yes, I know. But tomorrow I'm leaving on a mission I could never perform. And that would mean I'd never come back. And I'll never see you again. We'll go tonight, as you say. Fine. Del Rand! Why are you here? I came to get evidence against the black robe. And to help you and the girl. You saw the ceremony tonight? Yes. And I was worried. I was afraid you'd gone the way of Brandon. Where you played your part cleverly. Well, I had to sham. I had a chance to get Zenobia away. She's awakened now. You know what mission I was given? I suspect. I was sent to put an end to you. I thought so. That's how he rids himself of all his enemies, whom he steeps in the devil worship. A black robe carries on his ungodly traffic. But who for this traffic? Where can we find it? There's an inner cave that holds all the proof you want. Fine. Where is it? It's out this way. Let's go. There's all the proof you want, Don. There's a fortune in those duck eggs. A fortune? Opium. Oh. Well, this is one fortune that he'll never spend.
so my pretty dove would fly away. And you ran. What a traitor you have been. What a mother. Dawn, I have been expecting you for some time. Don't get like a noise, is it? For you, Rand, there is a pleasant journey. Starting a journey from which you will never return. You have learned more than any man has ever learned and lived. Dawn has been left to the mercy of my followers. The girl? Well, you know I have a way of casting a strange spell over whomever I want. You rat! I have so great an affection for you that I would give you a caress before you start on your journey. Your lover start his journey. Thank you, Dick. I shall be the last person your eyes shall look upon. I regret, Mr. Commissioner, I must disappoint you. I go in my own way alone. This is deadly poison. I shall be dead in a few minutes. And, Mr. Commissioner, if I have made you look rather foolish, pray accept my apologies. Mr. Dawn, you are a brilliant man. I admire you, and I honor you. Gentlemen of the police, you have been very kind. I regret I must cheat you. Oh, yeah. Don, let me 
me thank you for all you've done. Well, that's very nice, coming from you, Commissioner. Thank you, Commissioner. I have the situation well in hand, Don. <clears throat> <laughs> 